Greetings guys, it's Irish. So tonight, or in this video, I thought I would start my journey into Awesome Window Manager. Now I have used Awesome in the past briefly, and it was okay, but I don't think I stayed on it long enough to get used to it. But there was something back then that, I, I for whatever reason, I just didn't know what it was that I didn't like. So I'm actually going to give this an honest shot. So as I'm learning how to configure Awesome, I'm going to, you know, once I figure it out, do a video and show you guys. So hopefully you'll see a transition from the initial installation that I'm going to be doing tonight to, you know, one of my final videos. Because I did go back to view my old Awesome uh, videos on uh, configuring Awesome Window Manager, and I, I don't think they were very good. It was basic stuff, so... Uh, you know, again, probably starting off, this will be, you know, fairly basic configuration, but as, again, as I learn how to configure it, hopefully I can make it look pretty cool. Uh, there is a uh, YouTuber um, who has used Awesome in the past. I can't pronounce his name. I'm going to say Meshi. This, uh, this guy here he has actually helped me with Gentoo and Awesome and stuff like that. He actually has a, a pretty kick-ass window, uh, awesome window manager on his computer. And he's got, you know, his GitHub and everything, so he shows you how to uh, do it. So I'm going to try to make it as cool as his, but I'm probably going to fail. But I thought I would do my take on how I would set up my awesome window manager from scratch. And as I progress and learn new things, I would show you guys. So... The initial one is going to just be installing it. So uh, currently I am on Gentoo. So if we open up a terminal, if we do EIX awesome WM, you'll notice that the stable version is 3.5.6. Now the latest one is 4.2. So uh, there is a difference between the 3.5 and the 4.2 version. Now, that's the only downside to Awesome that I find. Like, any time that there's a major release in the uh, code, everything, you have to start from scratch and relearning how to do stuff. So, I'll show you. Uh, if you're on Arch or any others, you might actually don't need to do this step. So, this is a Gen 2 specific thing. So I would want to get the 4.2. So what I'm going to do is open up another terminal really fast. I'm going to go into my uh, Etsy portage uh, and then go sudo vim and then it's going to be package.use. Put my password in here. Now, I'm sorry, not this, not this one. It's going to be the package accept keywords. So now if I go all the way down here, I'm going to say equals x11-wm awesome dash four point two and then if I do the tilde AMD sixty four. So now if I do a emerge dot PV awesome you'll notice that it's gonna want to do the three point five but once I save this and reissue this you're gonna see that it's the four point two uh, just so it shows. I'm going to pause this really fast. So as you see, uh, there would be three packages, but notice the versioning number down here. So that's the stable. So now if I save this, and then instead do sudo, then av. Now you could, uh, with the use flags, you don't really need, no, I probably should 
have taken away the GNOME support because I'm not going to be using GNOME with this. But uh, you can use GNOME 2, I believe, or GNOME Classic or what whatnot, and actually substitute the window manager that they have with Awesome or i3 or even Xmonad. So now, if we look at the X11 Awesome, it's 4.2. So if you want the latest version, you're going to have to put the keyword in. But again, if you're on Arch, this comes automatically. So we're just going to... There's only three packages that I need to compile. So it shouldn't take too long. I'll show you the Gentoo wiki page on this. So it just tells you the about the use flags. There is a Lua. JIT, which uses that instead of the base Lua package. Um, so I don't think it comes with that anymore. So this page is a little obsolete now. But the only thing, honestly, that is different than, say, the uh, Arch wiki page is doing the it with the X init RC. I will get to this, but you need to CK launch session debush launch dash dash sh dash syntax dash dash exit with session and then awesome I have put this in my i3 in my i3 uh, one so if we take a look at it as you see I did that and it actually does go a little faster because it is using the debus so since we're going to be in here, I'll just add this to the awesome one, which is down here. CK. You know what? I'm just going to copy paste. It'll be so much faster here. Okay, so once this is done, uh, we'll do one thing really fast, and then we'll move over to the uh, awesome window manager. Okay, so now that's done, uh, let's take a look at my .config file. Now, you sh I shouldn't have any awesome, um, so what you want to do is make a directory and just call it awesome. And you just want to CD into awesome. So there's nothing in there. So what we're going to do based off the website, uh, the default configuration is in the Etsy X D XDG awesome and then the RC Lua and then you just want to copy it in this location so you can just put a period so now if we take a look, there's the RC Lua, and now we'll go back into my uh, X in it RC file, and I will get out of the i3, and then I will be right back, and I will be in and I will be in the awesome window manager. So one second okay so this is the newer version of awesome uh, window manager version 4.2 now if you're booting into this without any wallpaper then you will get a generic awesome uh, wallpaper but because I'm using nitrogen that's why it's saved on mine so the first thing you'll notice is that this it's still the same and everything, but it's just a more sleeker look. Uh, you'll notice that there's the date and time here. Uh, it does show my language a different layout. So if we open up, so if we open it up, this is an X term. So we'll notice that we can just open up a few here, and then you can do mod shift, which is the Windows key and the spacebar and you can get it into these different uh, various um, different layouts here 
the new thing is uh, these bars here so we can float this one or we can tile all these so these this is new that you can have any individual tiling inside the vid or inside this already and then you could go full screen on t so you can put this on top or you can close this you can pin it or sticky it and this one is maximize as well and then again you can put different ones so first thing I'm gonna do before calling this video is just adjust a few things in the RC or in the rc.lua file so if we go into so vim config awesome rc.lua now this is in Lua so if that's not your cup of tea and you don't feel like learning a new language just to get you know basic stuff done then I probably wouldn't suggest awesome stick with i3 or even herpsluft so but the thing that we are looking for is the uh, it's going to be down here in the terminal so line 47 if we do that and we can just say urxvt and then the same thing with the editor it says editor or you can say nano which I prefer vim and then the next one I would want to do is f change my mod key from the windows key to the alt key so it would be mod uh, let me double check that really fast. Mod 1. So now that we can save this, if you can go up to here and then you can say restart and it will restart the so this is the generic wallpaper I was telling you about before um, so now if we open it up with alt enter you'll notice that we are in urxvt instead of xterm and I did alt because my computer has two alt keys uh, instead of two windows keys so it just makes more sense you know having the alt key as my modifier key instead of the windows key because it's just awkward placement so then we can keep opening it up and it will tile this till we do this so that's what I'm gonna call uh, the video as of right now um, I'll make another video uh, probably tomorrow or something like that telling you exactly what I uh, did um, and everything so one more uh, so I will be changing the theme in the next one and adding the top bar uh, like my uh, network manager applet and my volume icon and my Dropbox up here so I can see it and then also doing just trying to bling this top bar up here so uh, you guys have a good uh, Good night, and I'll catch you guys later.